welcome to Review Time with Tim. Today, I bring you a coffee drink review. We have the Maxwell House, okay, Maxwell House, iced coffee in a can with cream and sugar. All right. So, as always, subscribe to my channel, smash the likes, comments below, and uh, let's get into this hopefully tasty coffee drink review. Okay, so we have a uh, Maxwell House iced coffee drink in a can. Uh, with cream and sugar. No artificial flavors or colorings in this percent Arabic coffee. Percent Arabic coffee. Uh, right off, we're going to talk about the packaging. Uh, the packaging is really nothing to write home about. Blue can, not even, it's just got a, it's got like a skin on it. Um, and it's got a little Maxwell House cut. You know, it, it's really plain packaging. Uh, I barely, almost didn't even feel the need to grab this off the shelf, other than the fact that I saw this, I never had it before, and I kind of then wanted to do a review on it. Uh, but if I was just kind of normally going through the store, the packaging doesn't scream, grab me, put me in the cart. So the packaging on this gets a two. Okay, gets a two possible points here for the packaging. Uh, we're going to crack into, we're going to see what it actually looks like. Let me see, I don't even know if I have to shake this up. Or shake this up. Water, coffee, water, concentrate, coffee, skim, milk, sugar. You know, I'm not, it doesn't say anything about shaking. So I'm a little, I'll just do like, I'll do one of these because I don't need it to like spray my face. All right, I don't know if it's going to have a pop. Let's see if it has a pop. All right, it has a very similar pop to the uh, Coca-Cola with coffee that I reviewed earlier uh, within the week. Let's grab my cup here. I'm going to give this out a little pour. Ooh. All right. A little bit on the darker side. You know, it's, it's kind of light, but not super. It's got a, like, kind of like a mocha looking uh, color to it. So the color scheme's not awful, but if you really like a lot of heavy milk or cream in your coffee, uh, this will probably deter you. Um, maybe, maybe any of the Starbucks coffee drinks that you get in the glass. Uh, you know, they're like practically like drinking milk. This one's a little bit on the darker side. It smells very similar to a Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee that you buy in the, the, the packaging, the plastic containered ones. Smells very similar to the original iced coffee smell. It has a hint of like dark notes, coffee dark notes to it. Very small hint. Smell, didn't take a test yet. <laughs> Just kidding, not gonna sip it yet. Smell wise, very light. You got that very noty and sugary coffee smell. We're gonna go with a 5.5 on the smell. Doesn't taste awful. It's definitely not over sugared, or at least it doesn't feel that way. Uh, let's check the sugar content on this because it does say cream and sugar. Sugar, 15 grams. All sugars total, probably because of the milk, 23%, 11 grams. Uh, that does make no sense. Total sugar, 15 grams, includes 11 grams added sugar. Okay, 
So, 23%, uh, let's see, 15, 26, 26. So, 26 grams of sugar in this. Definitely not the sweetest drink. Very, very light coffee taste. Very light. Um, comparing to some of the other ones like the Starbucks ones or the Dunkin' Donuts ones. Um, those definitely are way over sugared and have way more cream taste to it. Uh, then this this is, this is very very light at the, the first sip I actually thought of watered down water <laughs> yeah I said it watered down water well now that I'm drinking through it a little bit more and trying to really get that that flavor not overly flavorful on this um, we're gonna go with a four. As the, the score on the flavor. Um, so, yeah. Mm. All right, let's tally it up and uh, get our overall for the Mexico Wells Ice Coffee Cream and Sugar Review. Okay, so after uh, doing the numbers, a 11.5 out of 30 total possible points for today. 11.5 out of 30. Pretty low score. It's kind of ho-hum, but, you know, this is nothing to really write home about. It's not, you know, disgusting where it's getting a complete zero, uh, but, you know, for a lot of people, this probably would not be their first choice of drink, because it also is a mystery in a can, because you don't know what it's going to look like, because you can't actually see inside. So, yeah, there you have it, folks. If you've tried this drink out, let me know. Comments in the section below. As always, subscribe to my channel, smash the likes. Comments are always welcome. And you have yourself a fabulous, fantastic day.